The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. With crystals like folders, picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle though, make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle, from obtuse to right street shit like JJ. I'm dino. Might slide me some dough. I show you an execution in the flesh and promise not to leave nothing left. If you vomit, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is. Nah. Yo, yo, what up, 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 party people. What's up, party people? Thanks for joining Mike Robertson Boulevard and the place to be, man, on this nice Tuesday, Taco Tuesday night. First Tuesday of fucking, what is May. it, May? May. Damn, May already, man. Yeah. May. Shit be moving. Y'all agree? Uh, yeah. Moving faster than motherfucker. Man, it used to take two years to get to May, man. Now, man, we did in about <laughs> like three weeks and well, shit. We got the speed of life, my brother. <laughs> For real, man. All right, look, I'm Mike Robertson. I'm your host of this lovely show on this afternoon. On the far left of me, I got my main man, Mr. Melrose Uncut. Yes. The what? Most interesting comic, comic in, in the, the world, world, folks. <laughs> that's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Next to me on the right, I got Dewan Encyclopedia Brown. This is Dewan Brown. <laughs> this is Dewan Brown. Also yes. known as Dewan the Grouch. That's the yeah, new yeah. name, I, I, man. I, I, I take the Grouch yeah, over He like that name. <laughs> <laughs> I can go to the motherfucker, but I ain't no good damn Encyclopedia. Yeah. Uh, don't be coming I to do me be with shit. Enough, <laughs> I do. Oh, man. Also, to the left of me, I got my old school homie right here, man. Mr. Uh, I call him Chuck, but he, go- <laughs> but he goes by Mr. Isaac. What up, homie? Yo, you, man. Mr. Up, Isaac. Thank you. Thank you for having me, brother. Uh, Isaac Elder in the place to be. How you doing, man? Real well, man. Hey, man, thanks for joining this party, dude. Yes, sir. How's your drink right there? It's kind of... Oh, man, it's flowing. Man. You're kind of like sissy sipping a little bit. Yeah, everything's real good, man. Sissy sipping. Nah, man, it's all good. We're going to have fun today, y'all. So we're going to talk about some interesting things. Uh, Mr. Isaac Elder here is, uh, he owns his own clothing company as well. Oh, He's a designer and all oh, types of other shit. Thank you. Thank you. Homie from around the way. So That's we're going to dig up. into his stuff. We're going to talk about what's trending, a few little trending items. You know what I mean? I can dig it. And uh, mm-hmm. we're going to get it. That's right. That's right. All right. Is it's it good? A, let good? it be broke uh-huh. then. <laughs> let it be Break it down. Let it be broke. Fix it. What? Let it be broke. Oh, uh, is that like a new saying? That's just like break it down. I'm about to break it down. Well, let it be broke. It's some old jive type shit. Yeah, it's some uh, jive. It's some old jive. Yeah. Did you yeah. get it when he said Yeah, I got that. You even break it down. Yeah. Let it be broke. Let yeah. it be broke then. Because you got to see the pieces on the ground for what yeah. it is. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Oh, it's like if a nigga say... Hey, you feeling froggish? Leap then. Yeah, Fuck there you, you go. Yeah, <laughs> let it be said. Yeah. Let it make be it happen. Well, what you waiting on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. I hear nothing but talk in the room, <laughs> yeah, nigga. <laughs> that type of thing. Oh, okay. I got you, man. I got you. What you sipping on, Melrose? Uh, a little 1738 with a splash of Red Bull. Damn, Red Bull on everything, huh? Not everything. Nigga, Red Bull, you nigga, you'll put Red Bull in milk, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I got cereal, milk, and Red Bull. Those nigga, are for real strong bones. <laughs> Those make the real strong bones. Is that what it is? Ah, <laughs> uh, you stay ready? Yes. <laughs> Melrose, stay ready? Yes. Uh, what about you, Dewan? Are you sipping on some of Melrose yeah, concoction? Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, they they made this for me. God damn it, it's good. Like, is, it, is that Red Bull in there? I think you have like the rosemary uh, twist. It's something that shit good than the motherfucker. Really? Though. Oh, they gave him good. the the felonious? No, 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 no. no, no. Browned up. It's it's brown. Yeah. It's, it's something. It's oh, yeah, good yeah. than the motherfucker though. It I is like good. That mix. <laughs> That's the rosemary. And she mixed it better than the bartender. Are you cussing here too? Hey, oh, fuck fuck yeah. We say everything yeah. we want to say. You motherfucking, motherfucking right, hot bitch, asshole, nuts. <laughs> That's what's up. Man. Choose your words, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I mean, let's talk about it, man. So, Chuck, man, you from right around what's the up? way around here, huh? Yeah, right around Damn, the way. Damn, we was just talking about the Nipsey shit, man. 
You literally passed by there right when no, it should happen. That's crazy, man. I wouldn't say when it just not when happened, it happened, but, but maybe a few minutes after, man. So, but I, I didn't know what was going down. I just knew it was something bad. So, really, wow. unfortunately, you know. Damn. So you passed by when it was bank, ambulances man, and all that. Literally headed to U.S. Bank right there in Slauson and Crenshaw. So that's crazy. But like I said, I didn't know that was it was that deep. But I knew something bad had happened though. Damn. What was my, you? my wife actually? I called my wife and she told me like. It's actually Nipsey inside that parking lot. That's wow. It's like, oh, whoa. Damn. So, so you I started did... praying for him right there, to be honest with you. I just literally started saying a prayer for that brother. You know, Damn. And that was that And you was see serious. they got that uh, at the U.S. Bank. You said you was at the U.S. Bank. They got that mural now that they painted I mean, on there. Uh, the mural is dope. Yeah, the mural is dope. Like, the my homeboy dope. Moses is the one that painted it. Really? And they, they was actually doing the whole painting thing when the whole when the whole thing went, happened. So they added Nipsey at the end, like because he was they weren't planning on putting his picture up there, but he was actually doing the painting when the whole thing happened. Damn, really? And uh, on that build, like it's a it's a real cool build. Like when you go by the U.S. Bank on Slots and the Crenshaw, they got um, they got old man heads on that. It representing the black folks that first settled the uh, western part of the uh, western hemisphere, the first civilization over here in the California, Mexico, the Olmec. Okay. They got a tribute to that, and they also got a tribute to Queen Khalifa. And Queen Khalifa is who California was named after, the mythological goddess that was a goddess of war that protected over California. And it, it, this was a black, California was named after a black woman. And these are all things, and it's like coded right there on that same bank. And then right next to Queen Khalifa, is Nipsey's picture now? Damn, and Nipsey's a legend. You know what I mean for what for what he's Absolutely. done. So no doubt, it's a lot of the codified things on there. I encourage y'all look it up. Shouts out to Moses Ball for painting that. But it's some. It's a. It's that's a look that up. And Melrose, he doesn't well. want to be called Encyclopedia Brown <laughs> for what reason? I can't fathom. Hey Mike, God damn, hey, that's the whole section <laughs> in right there. Hey Mike, hey Mike, hey, check it out. It's coded, nigga. Where yeah, do we break coded that code? All right there, hey, man. With fuck? all due respect to you, Mike Melrose. Yes, sir. <laughs> fuck both of you, nigga. Right? <laughs> this nigga told us all fuck the facts. Both nigga. of y'all. Yeah. That's a mortar building right actually, there the, with stone. The, the from... bank was actually founded in, in 1805 <laughs> yeah, yeah. by but, two. But I like American uh, <laughs> but I, I, I like I, I like I like when I teach my kids I work with I like using things that they see on a day to day basis to teach. I mean, oh, just, and like we live in California, but we don't know what California was named after. Ka- Ka- Khalifa is an Arabic word. You know what I mean? And like this is literally named after a black woman. You right. know what I mean? Who they say protected over to say it was a female warrior class that protected over the state. And it's, some of it's mythology, some of it's true, but we don't know what's what. But that's what I'll say his name down. So we got to know that as black people. Once again, he doesn't want to be called Encyclopedia <laughs> Brown. <laughs> I just know what I know. I You're know running from else. your calling, man. Yeah, man, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're running from your memory. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> you actually remembered yeah. that shit. Fuck y'all. All right, man. First item on the list today, man. <laughs> what up? What up? This weekend, Rodeo Road was named Obama Boulevard. Ooh. <laughs> the Grouch. Some people think that's a cool thing to do. Some people think Ooh. it's grouchy. I grew up on Chesapeake and Rodeo Road, goddammit. That shit, I, I grew up two two houses down from Rodeo Road. Oh, so you got some attachment When I to woke this. up in the morning, when I looked outside my window, we had the Rodeo Road and Rodeo Lane projects right here in Dorsey High School right there. Right. When I opened my front door, because it was on Rodeo. Ro. Sentimental value, man. I get it. You can keep yeah. calling rodeo. So I, it's going to be now. <laughs> yeah, so you can't keep. Co- you, this mo- Obama couldn't even come to the dedication. <laughs> that w- which was just anonymous <laughs> for now his I'm presidency with, with black that. people. I'm down. Oh, I'm going to look good in front of y'all. Oh, I'm going to do what look good. I'm going to do what oh. shows in the headlines. But when it comes to actual substantive things to do. To the voter base that got me in, I wouldn't have got in without these motherfuckers. No show. You know well, how he got in with these motherfuckers? Because niggas white, used white to go door got, to door. White people got Obama. And they was making calls. And they was riling people up. And driving voters in. And all this shit. It took the whole world to get Obama elected, man. Motherfuckers was calling and giving money and all this shit. And after he won, everybody stopped and shit. And he was just supposed to do the rest by himself. Anyway, Obama... You was a stand-up gentleman, even though you're a fucking ah. ruthless killer, and you <laughs> drop bombs on niggas all over the world and shit, and you did it with style, man, and flair. So, 
I'm glad you got. He the did it with the Michael name. Jordan walk after. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take that Michael Jordan. No, no, he take, you, like, he yeah. take you behind that three point line. No and doubt drop he was Bombs smooth. on your ass, nigga. No doubt he Wait, was. What smooth. you think about that, man? Did you go out there? <laughs> no, actually, I didn't go. You didn't go out but, there. But uh, some of my family did attend. Really? But I, I, I wasn't able. to What's make. your feeling on it, man? You think it's a cool thing to do to turn the street into Obama B- Boulevard or? <laughs> What the fuck? You don't. Give I mean, a obviously, fuck? I you know I, I played at Bone Hills. I you know we practiced right there on rodeo at Dorsey and Rancho. Rancho Siena, right? You know, you, are, yeah. you know, because it, it was ro- rodeo and rodeo. Remember, so yeah. rodeo was ours. Was ours. You know, rodeo was the some, wild some other shit, stuff. huh? With the you know horses I mean? and the bulls and it's, shit. As funny as that is, but that's how <laughs> you know it really was. You know, so you know. I'm not oh, so you think they Obama, took our rodeo I mean, away? You think you, you kind of took that, that away? You know what I mean? That's oh, since so should they? Give I like it, that. I like. I like. Should rodeo, they have man. given it to a different street, it. like I, I Victoria really like shit or Buckingham or some shit, some little small shit, sixty second place and shit? High Park. <laughs> Here's what I gotta say about that, Mike. Here's what I gotta say about that. They're gonna start taking. Not all only the is it bullshit. I don't. I'm not against Obama getting the street, but if you look at it, Jefferson go from the east side. To the west side. He did get a little steep. Washington goes from the east side yep. to the west side. Lincoln gets you from the airport through Santa Monica. Obama gets you from the jungles to the hood. <laughs> to Target, nigga. <laughs> this shit, Obama, nigga, go, my fat ass. <laughs> jungle to Target. My fat ass could sprint down Obama and not be tired. <laughs> <laughs> if you going to get a nigga, okay, give, a nigga give him a, a street. Thing. But I was like, okay, get a motherfucker support with us some shit. <laughs> yeah, they That's were, a long ass street. Let them yeah. go through the white neighborhood. Let yeah. them see Obama. Yeah. Yeah. Let give him See the guy you voted for. Give him Beverly Boulevard. Give that motherfucker Melrose. Yeah. No disrespect to you, my brother. No, sir. <laughs> but you know, give him the, Niggas what? ain't giving Melrose to that nigga. No. You get you they, 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 I want you to go buy my Pumas on Obama. Nigga, nigga, nah, they, nah, they gave <laughs> oh, they gave you don't even have a freeway exit. So don't if you unless you go through the hood, you won't even know that shit exists. Dang. They gave this nigga an alley. It may be just <laughs> sometimes things are just symbolic. It wasn't the fact that we're going to give him the biggest boulevard in the city, but we're going to honor him enough so that people growing up will always reference him name, his name at some point, just looking at that little sign. So it was symbolic, you know what I mean? Like with niggas, you can never make a nigga happy. No, I mean no, you impossible. give you give a nigga Black History Month, they want the whole year. You give, <laughs> you give, you, it don't matter what yeah, it is; yeah, it's yeah. gonna be if a reason. Give them a freeway, y'all, nigga, we want a river. Why we can't shit. get? Why we can't get a galaxy? <laughs> Let's change the <laughs> Mississippi River, nigga, to Obama oh River. I ain't got a problem with that. That's called exercising power. We as black people ain't had power in so long. We we foreign to how it looks. Power is yeah. I want my shit all over the place. They do it to us unapologetically, and we say, okay. It's time we start flexing our shit. We, we got muscle. We, we, we got don't, muscle as a people. We, we don't, don't really give a fuck about shit as a people together. When it's time to do That's something. That's the whole thing. We, we got, y'all put the Obama shit up, and then we fucking protest the fact that y'all did. That's true. That's our shit. You Collectively, we don't give a fuck, but for the few of us that do give a fuck, we get challenged by those who don't give a fuck. Then it, that's the problem. It's not enough of y'all Y'all niggas. motherfuckers that's lost me right something. there, nigga. Who do you give a fuck or not? I'm saying, I'm saying about those of us who do like want to exercise power for black people. Like, yeah, I am unapologetic about wanting it all. And what's wrong with that stance? Nothing. We built this shit. The problem is when you see a black person take that stance, you have other people saying, I ain't talking about y'all. I'm talking about yeah, in yeah, general. Yeah. I, I'm a comic. I be talking about this shit on stage all the time. You get everyone else coming at you. No, 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 no. Now calm down now. You, you, you asking for too much now. Use? You, you asking? <laughs> Once when niggas say you use. used to sit your ass down there now. <laughs> when they put an You know that you? white man ain't going to give you that. Yeah, I'm going to take it, God damn it. <laughs> they took it from me. Well, I'm going to take it back. <laughs> All right, man. Next item, man. Next item. Uh, new footage came out on the homegirl Sandra Bland. Y'all oh, see that? man. No. I, I can't watch. Man, Ooh, so basically... Man. She had a phone. We never saw her phone. We only saw the footage from the desk, from the um, the police, officer. the police right. officer's uh, dash cam. Basically, mm-hmm. we never saw that she had a phone. Remember, she had a yeah. phone. He made her put it down and shit, and yeah. she was walking with her phone. Yeah. That shit was on and filming the whole time. The whole time. So when he was in her car talking to her, she had her shit, and, and she was filming the whole shit. And so basically, he had the you know he took the position that he felt that he was in danger. And which is why he pulled her out of the car. And 
this basically uh, basically debunks that whole shit man, right there, man. Man, they had that video debunks the whole time what? and didn't tell. Didn't he yeah, yeah. Yeah. like a gun? I mean, was he in he danger? He was pointing the shit in the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, like, he wasn't about. in danger, exactly. But that's what's <laughs> I mean, on the report. Like, and he, he said, like, like, put it down. And she's like, no, I. this is my property. You can't tell me, no, I can't have my phone on. I'm going to get out like you're asking me, but I'm keeping my phone on. You know what I mean? So it was like the, the whole shit was fishy. It's all, it, it just yeah, got released today it? Yeah, on the okay. internet. Mm-hmm. You can search it. And look, you don't I, have it? I've been feeling like it's fishy this whole time. I know. Do I have it? <laughs> you don't have it? Like, hey, the fuck? I don't have it. No, what we, kind we, of we, journalism is this? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, this is through memory, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this is Encyclopedia Mike journalism. <laughs> 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 no, the point is this, bro. <laughs> The point is, man, I've been feeling like the whole shit is fishy the whole time. That was not the signs of a lady who was going to hang herself in fucking jail. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And part of the shit she's saying on the tape is, okay, just wait. Uh-huh. Or y'all going to see me in court. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So somebody that's saying shit, saying that going to go and hang themselves in jail, right. dude? Right. Oh, <laughs> this nigga. So. Like right anyway, there. And, like, the footage. and that's sad. And I don't like to be one of the people that like, that like to tell black people what we need to be doing tonight because I think we do over-police as it is. But... When we get pulled over by cops, every cop ain't a police officer. Some of these motherfuckers is out there for the, for the business. You know what I mean? And we behind enemy lines. They got the law. They got the gun. They got everything backing them. So you get pulled over, that's your time to chill. You got to do what the fuck they say to do, and then you will. That's, how, that's the only way you will get your day in court. Fully cooperate. Because when you do that, you just giving them a reason because the, the, these police officers already know in the back of their mind if they want the business they're gonna get off and they're gonna be good. Mm-hmm. So when you be when you do stuff like that, you and they have one of them. They have one of them days. This can happen. So as a people, you That's know, right. I mean, all that just because you know the law, like as much shit as I talk about knowing the law. When the police come, okay, sir, hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, you got to be nice. You got to know when. You, you, you got to know when. You want to go home. You got to know when to flex your knowledge. Of us already yeah. Though. Before they even get to us, they yeah. already and, scared to death before they get to the window. Yeah, and, 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 and literally and, inside. They, some they, are scared. scared. And, other, and you have some lions out like, there who just coming out, who go to work to kill folks. And they bitches, too. They bitches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but they exist. Even, Right, absolutely. We, we, we got to know they exist, and they got the law behind them. So you got to have every police time. tone when you talk. To yeah. You. Yes, sir. Give us some police tone, Melrose. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was headed home, sir. Wait, wait, Melrose. <laughs> with, with the look? look. Yeah. With the look? Yeah. Wait, let me do the cop. Not too much cop. eye contact either. They don't like eye contact. Let me do the cop. You know why I pulled you over? I don't. <laughs> I haven't a clue, sir. Hey, what are you doing right there with your right arm? <laughs> I'm holding the steering wheel, sir, very firmly, so you won't uh, confuse that for any act of aggression, sir. Listen up, kids. Listen up. Hey, have I done anything to you to make you feel unsafe? Absolutely not, sir. You're going to be a perfect gentleman, I believe, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's, wow, that's nigga, pretty that's, damn. That'll get you home, nigga, that's, that's, that, yeah, And you'll get, get you home. home. Going your and way. You will get Absolutely your not, sir. That, little matter of fact, I think I was going a little fast coming up burning. <laughs> Say sorry. <laughs> did, you, did you see video that uh, I was enjoying the ride, sir. Did you hear about that shooting in Torrance, the video that got released? Mm-hmm. It was a brother that was killed in Torrance this past December. Mm. And the, uh, they were saying that he was a suspected person that stole a car or whatever. Well, the video was, re- was released on Monday. Dude was in his car asleep. The police officer came and he's like, "Hey, what's up?" And, the, and I, you could tell you dude just woke up. And he's mm-hmm. like, "What's going on?" And the police officer's like, "Don't move." And dude's like, "Oh, they just start firing on him and killed him." That Man, see, that's like, one of them dudes that want. What'd you say? I said, that sounds like that happens about every day. Yeah, yeah. it's like an everyday this occurrence dude, now. This is not once a year anymore. Yeah, and that's what's an everyday like, thing. And going to what we said about the rolls, like that was a good scenario. And that's how we should behave, but that still don't guarantee your safety. Right, right, right. right. No, that's what just we try to do is give bet. you a better, yeah, it's your no. best probability, bet. right. <laughs> it's no. still on security. That puts you in the high 80s, though, getting home. Yeah, that gets you in the high <laughs> 80s. <laughs> high 80s. Yeah. That's, uh-huh. yeah. Hey, that's a B. Yeah, that's a high 80, nigga. Yeah, Melrose. Smile, Cop buddy. I've got to be eyes. a real asshole to <laughs> fuck with that. Like, yeah. No, sir, sir. You look really good in the uniform. If I... <laughs> it's just time I to go up and get him. If I might say, that's some crease in those right. pants, sir. Turn your radio to K Earth and shit, yeah. nigga. <laughs> Excuse me, let me turn down my classical jazz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last thing, man. Uh, really Mother's calm. Day. Uh, Mother's Day coming. Mother's up. Day coming yes, up Sunday. Yes, yes. Party yeah. people. Let me just tell you something, man. 
Mothers are the most beautiful thing in the world to celebrate because your ass wouldn't be here without one. God damn it. God damn so right. So if your mother is still here with you right now, please, please, please do something special for her. You should have this shit mixed into your whole life. Every single day you should be thinking about how can I make my mom feel special? What can I do for her? Can I reach out to her? Can I send her some items and shit? What the fuck can I do to help my dear old mammy? Live a better life, man. I think about my mom's who's not here, right. and I wish I could just fucking see her one more time. You know what I mean? I wish I had just one more day, and I don't. So you will feel like me one day. So right now, since you got a day, use your day and say what's up to your dear old mommy. Chuck, you hey, say man. what? I absolutely agree with you, no doubt. I'm blessed my mom is here, and I get to say that on Sunday, hopefully, God willing. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. No yeah, doubt. what do you think about this idea? Can we talk about, we drill into this stuff, man. What do you think about the idea of us actually having a holiday to celebrate mothers? I mean, for me, Mother's Day is every day, so... You know, I guess it's a holiday every day. I, mean, I guess we're just taking this uh, one out. You guys hear that? The old Mother's Day is every day. Uh, <laughs> when, you know, okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, you got her living in the back house? What's <laughs> happening here? <laughs> no, nah, man, I feel you, Chuck. Flower absolutely. every day, Chuck. No, no, no. But tell us about that. Every day is Mother's Day? I mean, yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely feel every day is Mother's yeah. Day. No doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you have one here, like you said. I mean, that's, that's important. Yeah, definitely. Melrose? I'm going to uh, be all sentimental here, man. It's like real sentimental right now, Mike. Man, it's real special, man. Yeah. It's Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a special <laughs> day. We got Mother's highs Day and lows was... on this show. What the fuck? Talk, talk about you. Uh, you, know, you know, for me, Mother's Day is one of those touchy things. I lost my mom uh, some time ago, so it's a, it's one of those constant reminders. I have a few friends that we all call each other on that day, like, you know, all our moms are deceased, and it's just one of those days that we bond. But, two, I'm learning to um, get into the mother of my children, and that was something that I always struggled with. Get into? With. I mean, in the sense that I celebrate them as mothers. Before, mm-hmm. it was like, you not my mama. You know what I mean? All right. You they mama. Yeah. They, Why they, y'all they, ain't get her no gift? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm leading the uh, the charge in that area. Showing them how to celebrate moms. Yeah. I think kids yeah, have I'm to I'm making this important to them. Like, yo, yeah. it's Mother's Can't Day. Can't be mad at that. That's what's up. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like. Nigga, bake some, even if you got no money, bake some cookies or do something. <laughs> right? yeah, Clean right. the uh, kitchen, wash some shit, something like, right. you know, in that, in that, uh, something. <laughs> Change the batteries in a remote, nigga. Can't something. do nothing. Something. Take the tape off. Yeah. Do yeah, I? Mother's Day, yeah, no, nah, I, was, I was just out visiting my mother in law with my wife, you know, because my wife's going to be working on Mother's Day, so she ain't going to be able to see her mother that day. So we did Mother's Day today. Oh, Ain't y'all special? Her, that yeah, was cool yeah. as hell. Not and only are you encyclopedia-ized, you are very <laughs> organized. You're going to be having pre yeah. holidays yeah, we knew we, She wasn't going to be so we, we, we made it today. Then, uh, then on Sunday when my wife is at work, I'm going to be with my mother kicking it. <laughs> you know what I mean? My mom's still alive, so I cherish that shit. I know yeah, one day. Because right. my, mom's, my, mom's, my, my mom's mom died when she was two months old. Wow. So she never got that. And yeah. that kind of go with my family. Then my on my grandmother's side of the game, her mother died when she was like less than a year old. Damn. Wow. You know what I mean? So going back in my family lineage, just a lot of early deaths with parents. And so like my mom's still here. I cherish every motherfucking minute. That's, That's a good thing. thing. That's a good, good thing, ever, thing when, bro. When her day, whenever her day comes, I'm going to know that look. When she was living, like, I was kicking it. We was chilling. Yeah. And I feel like, we don't talk every day, you know what I mean? We don't, you know. Right. Her and my, my mom and my sister, I, I think, are, are closer than me and my right. mom are. Right. But at the same time, the times that I get, I'm taking advantage. As long as the understanding is there, man. Mm-hmm. Like I, I definitely, definitely know a lot of people who are not in good graces with their mothers mm-hmm. and holding these grudges and shit like that. That's over worth nothing. And. Dude, don't be like that with moms. You know what I mean? You could be like that with them. We really every other person on the earth. Don't be like that with moms. Yeah, That's exactly. All I say. You know what I mean? You gotta just tuck Honor your tail. Honor moms. Yep, tuck your tail. You heard what he said. He, he celebrated his mom's birthday. I mean, Mother's Day today. That's why I said it's any day. Every day. Yeah, that's whenever right. That's right. Whenever right. you're feeling it, man. You just, right. The old, the old the comeback, day. huh? Right. The old, uh, <laughs> the old reframe. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> you didn't hear the what I call said? Back. The callback. You heard what he said? I uh, said it, too. Yeah. Oh I said God. it first. It was, I celebrate <laughs> Mother's Day it. every day. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's doing it, too. Look at him. <laughs> Oh, man. Something right now. <laughs> All right, look, y'all. We're going to play a little Sizong. 
Uh, okay. Take a quick break. We're going to come back talking about Chuck Elder and his Oak Bay Company all and right, all man, this good up? stuff, man. All right? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Party people. Party people. So niggas do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight little bars. That's all niggas do. So the next two, eight little four, bars five, are six, for you. Seven, eight. eight little bars. That's all niggas do. One, two, three, four, so five, six, six, seven, do. eight. Eight one, two, little bars. That's four, all five, niggas six, do. Seven, eight. Fatherless boys, I say it's the worst. A close number two is the church. Every time I see a preacher sit there perch, the shit hurt. It make a nigga MC search. Next to the prisons, that's corporate. Conflicts of interest, pay for the crime with interest. We a small portion, locked in inappropriate proportions. Never leaving a fortress, but when I smile bright, it's gorgeous. Eight little bars, this all niggas do. do. So the next eight little bars are for you. Eight little bars, that's it's all niggas do. So the next eight little bars are for you. Eight little bars, this all niggas do. So the next eight little bars are for you. Eight little bars, that's all niggas do. So the next eight bars are bars are for you. Eight bars ain't much, but it's enough to wake these phonies. Fight for your son first, and then the homies, then the gang, then the city that's pretty in places that's gray. Business is shut down day after another. Grown man gotta go live with his mother to recover on the love seat, cause on the couch is his brother. The smoke hover above, and for daddy, lover. Eight little bars, this all Nick do. do. So the next eight little bars are for you. Eight little bars, that's the soul niggas do. So the next eight little bars are for you. Eight little bars, this soul niggas do. So the next eight little bars are for you. Eight little bars, that's all niggas do. So the next eight bars are bars are for you. Look around, ain't nobody holding you down. Beautiful queens raising a soldier without their king. Public programs drying up, you've been seen or warned. Make a spaceship or plant some corn. Divine purposes to keep you longer in the earth's surfaces. Purchases don't matter in your last days. It ain't about what you bought, but what you gave. Eight little bars, this all Nick do. do. So the next eight little bars are for you. Eight little bars, that's it's all niggas do. So the next eight little bars are for you. Eight little bars, this all niggas do. So the next eight little bars are for you. Eight little bars, that's all niggas do. So the next eight bars are bars are for you. Freedom is yours, I can smell it, drink it, taste it In my little basement, it went from an encasement To something I make base with Lace it with tainted vodka, don't chase it It ain't running, there's a rumbling Noise that's pumping That summons in soldiers that roll through to hold you down Controlling your sound What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, party people What's up y'all, thanks for joining us man Word up we had to refill our little drinks. Word up. Uh, Melrose <laughs> um, is a king of drinks. Yes. Everything has what in it? Um, not everything. Man. Everything you're, has you're, Red Bull in it. exaggerating. Or Monster or some nope, shit. Nope, I'm not claiming that. That's not true. You don't have V8 in it? Quite some often shit, I have a some mix. Type of but injury. It's, I do like the Red Bull mixed with uh, my liquor. It's It gives me a certain type of to-go type feel. But still on some like super mellow, have fun, party shit. Nigga, please. All that in that glass? Yeah. I think I want to have one of those. <laughs> I think I want one. <laughs> you yeah. sold me. Yeah, I think I need one, man. <laughs> Thought you were bluffing. Nah, some to go about it, and then, mm. you know, you still got the party feel. Cool, cool, cool. All right, y'all. Well, look, man, I got a special guest in the house today, man. My homie. Yes, sir. My homie, uh, Yo, Chuck Isaac Elder in the place to be. Why and we call like him elder. Is that his name or just like <laughs> that's my last this name? Nigga do poetry is, or what? I know he's like older than he seems. <laughs> that's his last name. Is it shit, said, right? This is Elder Charles. <laughs> is right that your here? professional name, man? What's your yeah, my what you go full by? name is Isaac Charles Elder. My middle name is Charles. So that's why you guys call me Chuck. That's my nickname is from Charles, obviously. Yeah, but what you go by? <clears throat> I mean Isaac Chuck. Oh, like it's when you so Isaac is more Either like one, when man. you're like being like important. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, that's the one my mama Mr. Gave Isaac. Me. <laughs> 
Yeah, she gets kind of hey, upset when hey, I don't. slow down. You don't know me. Mm-hmm. Isaac. Mr. Isaac. Okay. Uh, so, look, man, what we like to do is bring people uh, new flavors and stuff, man, especially uh, when we talk about being connected to the culture, stuff that has to do with what our youth are doing and uh, looking forward and t- to things that's coming. So, Chuck right here is uh, our owner of Oak Bay Clothing Company, right? That's right. Absolutely. And uh, how, how long have you guys been uh, officially Oak Bay? When did it wow. first start? When, when first you first start? launched? Absolutely. First... First vision. First vision is about ninety four, December ninety four, to be Dece- exact. December ninety four. December ninety four. First, that's first vision. Wow. Right, right. And did did it? Where did where did first the name vision. come from? Uh, the name actually came from my partner was from the Bay Area, but it it just kind of just flowed from there, you know. So it, and it it came from a, a nephew of his. Actually, just sitting around, we're throwing around a lot of ideas, right? Right. And his nephew said, dude, what do you think about Oak Bay? And I, I'm from L.A. Right. So I'm sitting there going, dude, that's the dopest name I've yeah, ever heard Yeah, that's dope as shit, right? That's, that's exactly what I said to him. That's it. I don't want to hear anything else. That's it right there. So we took it a little further, though. You know, Oak meaning being solid and Bay meaning, you know, infinitely, all of us infinitely flowing mm-hmm. like a body of water. So always mm-hmm. moving, doing what we have to do and. Again, the oak part being solid, just being a solid individual. So, ooh, made it make sense. Ah, yeah, so damn, that's ooh, really, made it make that's sense. Like dumb, dumb Mickey Mouse. Oak, yeah, yeah, Bay, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so when I tell when, a lot of people, always say, "Oh, well, this is a Bay Area thing." No, no. I do. This is a worldwide, global thing, man. And that's what it's all It's a body of water. Everybody's so, flowing together. Absolutely, that's exactly what's going yeah. on. So, wow. like Japan is crazy because Japan is the first one who, who came to me. Really, you know, like. We need to have that out here. So we actually started from Japan and, you know, worked back, you know, really. You know, that's kind of how it just. Dude, now, it you know, happened. when I was out there, I went by the store when I was out there. Oh, word, word, Japan. Word. Yeah. I went you have by a store it. in Japan? No, we're, well, well, you had a, a few point. pieces. Yeah, in, yeah, in just store, in right? some yeah. cool okay. boutiques. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boutique yeah. called Indoor, a couple cool boutiques out there we've always been a part of out there. So, yeah. Yes, you know. But, I mean, basically, you know, we. We've always been pretty much an underground thing, you know. It's, you know, we we weren't, you know, Carl Kanai or any of that. So it's just always been an underground thing, you know. For those who know, know, you know. Hopefully, it continues to, you know, grow. You know? Now you mix like you kind of using like um, underground culture really to drive the brand, right? Like music. Um, yes, yeah, you know, it's, it's it was an organic flow from there because you know the first one we hooked up musically with was big you know so that's right that's that was the crazy part i you know remember what I, mean? I remember that and then the he had biggie the smalls, smalls. Biggie yeah, smalls so, had the beanie yeah, on so it, yeah you know, they they flew out here for a shoot and billy johnson at the time who wrote for rap sheet who eventually was the main writer for vibe and so forth and so on you know, he called me and said, hey, we got Junior Mafia and Notorious coming here for a photo shoot, but we have mm. all these New York brands here. You can bring your stuff down here. And if he likes it, he likes it. I was like, cool, I'll come down. So I brought my stuff, then I left. You know, I put it on the rack, and I left. And Billy Johnson called me. I swear to God, about 30 minutes later, he said, I think you need to get back. And I was like, what? He said, dude, big and sees everybody walked in. And all of them gravitated towards your stuff. And they got the beanies on, the sweatshirts. It's crazy. It looks like a whole I was like, shut <clears throat> up. I said, you serious? He said, dude, get here right now. I, I wish I had camera phones back then. Dude, I flew down there. But, you know, he ended up wearing the beanie in the cover rap sheet. Was, right. And then he ended up doing Vibe, that same thing. Mm-hmm. He wore Oak Bay and the whole, that whole shooting Vibe. So it worked out pretty dope. But when I went down there and I saw the whole thing, I was like, what? And. He was like, oh, son, I love your stuff, man. Your stuff is dope. And I was like, this dude is about as real as they come. He was so cool. Dude was Biggie. really cool, down to earth. The, Biggie. The whole, whole nine yards. Hey, so, do you yeah, remember? That was, that, was, that was a dope situation. Right there. M- music-wise, talking 90s, remember when we were fucking in, um, what the fuck studio was that? When it, when, when Death Row, I mean, when Snoop was recording Gin and Juice. Do you remember this do day? Do I remember? Absolutely. Absolutely. Me and Chuck Elder were in the studio. What was her name? With Snoop Dogs. Um, no, we were interviewing him, huh? 
we were interviewing him. Right, right. So let me back up. We we had Chuck had a uh, a hip hop show. I was one of the away hosts. Right. Danny was the host, main right. host. Strictly hip hop. Strictly hip hop. There yeah, we go. The we shot strictly hip hop. Dang, man, you take us back. Dude. That's dope. And Snoop, we interviewed way Snoop back. and Dre, yeah. right? <laughs> way back. Yeah, no, absolutely. We interviewed Snoop and Dre. And first of all, it took forever to get the interview popping. Niggas was there for about two, three yeah, hours. We had to get through the weed smoke and, and everything yeah. else. And then finally, okay, we ready. <laughs> and they had the track of Gin and Juice, right? Mm-hmm. Playing, nigga, just back to back to back to back again and the again track and was again. Ridiculous. That's all we kept yeah, saying. Yeah, we kept saying, like, ridiculous. damn, nigga, heard it a hundred yeah. times. Then in the, Snoop steps into the interview in the middle of the interview with Dr. Dre hook. and says, like, look, man, Dre, I finally figured the shit out, nigga. I got the hook. <laughs> And Jay yeah. was like, nigga, wait, wait, man, we about to be like, no, nigga, you got to come right now, right? Man, it's like, you got to come right now. Word is bond, no, absolutely. Nig- nigga came, nigga went down there and kicked the walking down the street. Uh, it was Yeah, to be a part of that was yeah. off the chain. That was dope. Sipping on tea. That was dope. Juice. That was like, dope. he had been trying can... to figure out how to make the words match. But the craziest part about that same day, what people don't know, I walk outside, and I think you were out there, too. Who was out there in his... His old school red Buick, but Warren G yeah. saying, dude, check me out. And we walk over to Warren. He said, man, you got to listen to this. And he pops in, regulator. Are you high yet? You know, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Mr. Indo Grimm. Smoke. Indo, Indo Smoke. smoke. Yeah, Indo, Indo Smoke. smoke. Indo Smoke. And I was like, shit. what? I, I was like, shit. this is off the hook. Uh, He's like, dude, I'm just trying to get on. I swear to God, dude. Like I don't know why they're voting inside him. I don't dude, know why they're voting Dude, he's right outside him. the studio that same day. I know. He brought gin and juice yeah. in his old school cut. Check me. Check out my single. Check my yeah. Indo Smoke cut. What? I couldn't believe that, man. That whole day happened. Wow, like y'all that. part of Death Row history. That shit man. crazy. Damn. We was in the house, y'all man. Why are yeah, you in right. every goddamn thing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, know. <laughs> every time I look up, if it's a West Coast legend doing something, Mike was somewhere like, I'm right here. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was there. Remember me? Hey, remember, I was the guy actually, uh... Playing a cymbal on that drum. Yeah. That was me. You can make you, this shit up. Hey, you, you, part. Yeah, we, part we, of the we, video when that girl's booty was shaking? Oh my God. I was going to hit it. First. I was yeah. the fluffer. I was the fluffer. That was me. That was <laughs> this nigga right here. The ass fluffer. God damn. For real, man. And niggas, That's funny, man. Look, dude. And the, and, the, and the thing you said a minute ago, how we had to like weed through the smoke, dude. Them niggas had so much fucking smoke, dude. In a studio, bro. It was crazy. <laughs> and I was sitting there like, damn, these niggas are wasting all this money. Because I was from like, niggas put up $100 for your hour and your engineer and blah, blah, blah. Niggas was not doing shit, nigga, until he was just like, I got it, Trey, I got it, nigga. <laughs> and nigga went in there and was like, ugh, ugh. This shit was dope. Fascinating. Man. Fascinating. So look, man. So, uh, so you got music into the mix, man. You know what I mean. I see you fucking with these kids on skateboards too, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, it was just an organic progression. But you know what? To be honest, that was like kind of day one too. We were always fusing that skate hip hop culture. You know, from day one, we were like, "Dude, we about to knock Oakley up out of here." Yeah, let's get him up. Oh, out you of was here. after Oakley. That, I mean, that was like the whole just vibe. Our vibe was always we can't go down the same route as Carl Kanai or yeah. this or that. So you know, we had to have our own lane, man. So. We always had our own lane and what we were doing. I mean, I honestly feel we was the first streetwear. When I say streetwear brand, for real streetwear brand, like taking it from the street out the garage in every neighborhood from Oakland to here to we were there, East Oakland. I don't care. We hit every neighborhood for real. You know, just real, real. When I say streetwear, not just, oh, we just got put on because um, such and such gave us $3 million. And now I won't even name some brands. What'd you do with that you know what I mean? If I got three mil? No, what did you, what did you Your do first with three, three mil, mil, where'd you put it? You didn't uh, get that three mil? <laughs> no, I, I what wall is it in? Hey. I, didn't get, I didn't get that three mil, bro. Oh, you didn't get no, that three no, mil? But, hey, so I heard you say Carl Kanai two times already in this short uh, conversation. Right, right, right. I love, I love Carl Kanai, though. Yeah, I, know yeah, Carl, I, Carl. I mean, yeah, he he's broke. A, he's, he's a broke, pioneer, bro. Yeah, he's a pioneer. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what? But it's so, you know, who actually got me in. To the game in like '93, there was a dude by the name of Steve Wills who created the Ice Cube logo, the one with the the swords going up. I think you know, like the, it's the Lynch Mob logo. Oh, the Lynch Mob logo. Yeah, he's, okay. the, he's the I first dude one. I knew that did merch. I never. I was I was working at a spot, you know, uh, actually Perspective Records uh, back then. He he was doing all of our merch, so he would. I was so I sat down and talked to him like. Dude, what's up? What, what, what you doing? And he showed me the Ice Cube stuff. He said, I just did all the Cube stuff and Priority and Woo Woo. 
I was like, for real? So I said, give me some more game on that. And then, then he just said, yeah, I just go label to label, and I do all their merch, the concert, tees, this, that. And I was like, damn, he's the only dude I knew and what's that his was name? doing, what Stephen was Wills. Oh, okay. He was the only one I knew that was Steve doing Wills. that type of po, you know Steve yeah, Wills? That type of hustle. I was like, <laughs> he hooked up your shirts. Get on, Poe. Yeah, he was the first dude That's I knew cool that was really doing it. Yeah, like, especially like when nobody dude, doing it. He had the black on label. He was the first dude that had the black on. Yeah, yeah, label yeah. Was black on. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. What, what's up with that, Paul? He was he doing always laced me with the black on gear. See? See? Yeah. I can't yeah. make, I can't make when, this stuff up. What happened huh? to Steve? Uh, you know what? I'm, I, I'm not really sure. I haven't seen him in years. You I know, I would love either. to bump into him, but yeah. I. It's been a long time. You yeah, know? he was very popular. Yeah, he was a pioneer to some to a lot of things. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, you had that merch popping? Man, I might still have a black on t shirt. Uh, really? Sweatshirt somewhere. And he, and he had, had, if you walked into the beat or 92.3, had, he had the. I remember that. He had the black on signs everywhere. Yeah, the black. He had all you know, you walk into any spot, he'd be like, or any well, black restaurant, and Theo. look at the black on. He had his yeah, black on license plates. Black on license plates. Wait, wait, what'd right. you say? Oh. Yeah, he was doing little little street <laughs> marking that no one was actually doing, man. I had to. Yeah, yeah, he I, had I, I give him behind that. I, I give it up to him. him. Yeah, he made sure all the, um, all the DJs and everybody was laced. Yeah, 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 he was. Oh, okay, doing it like real that, nice huh? Dude, real nice dude. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you start designing first, or did you just start with just as a business model, like you wanted to do clothing, or what? What? What, what was your thing? You do the designing yourself. Yeah, myself and my partner. Yeah, my partner does graphics, and you know, I I did. Actually, like the clothing, okay, a part of it. So now, have you ever worked with some for someone else or lent your uh, talents out to um, any brands and stuff like that? Do you oh, do yeah, that? Absolutely, even to this day, absolutely. Uh, guy, right now, and one, you know, and one is just on the rise. I've been doing a lot of stuff with them since 2016. Oh, that's what's up. I own the license for I handle all their team divisions. So, oh, you know, shit, on the license really? to that, I'm about to actually. Also licensed out to Korea, so we're gonna do an A one Korea. Uh, and I'm bringing, I'm doing also the Avia shoes. Remember Avia? Yeah, Avia, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm doing that for Korea. For um, Korea, yeah, so you're yeah, just working in that one market. Take, absolutely, yeah. And one is man, it, people don't know, but globally, you know, in, in a lot of different countries, they're doing their thing, man. So they did like about 200 million last year with the shoes. They did another maybe four fifty, four hundred and fifty million with the apparel, and people think the Walmart thing like, dude, they're in Walmart. So you don't understand, dude. They getting a hundred million royalty from Walmart. Right. It's a specific reason, you know. People like Nike. Nike is in a lot of Goodwill stores, the the right. Coles, and mm-hmm. they're in a lot of lower tier stores, you know. But they also have the brand, and we got a lot of execs that just came over from Nike. To and one, so the whole model is changing. The new shoes are crazy. Montrez you, Chandler for the Clippers is wearing you know, them. Tarian Prince. Do you? Uh, um, Lance Stevenson was with us for a minute. And he went back to Nike, but I have about five, six dudes doing their thing in and one right now on the court. Do you design shoes? No, no, man. Do you I leave that to you. You gonna start? You, got, you know, you know what, man. When it when it comes to shoes, man, I, I have a lot of creative dudes yeah, okay. that are already, already doing shoes okay. on a major level. So I wouldn't even. Even want to attack why, that this, part of it, I would bring them in, like you know, and collab yeah, yeah, yeah. with the Dallas Stokes of the world. Dallas yeah. Stokes is my favorite footwear designer. You this know, why I ask, the Dazo Andersons, who K Swiss, and yeah, uh, I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of brothers have been behind the scenes. Yeah, you might know that know that created some yeah. serious shoes, man. That haven't got their their just Niggas created had, them. Oh, go ahead. I had no mm-hmm. ask for a reason why I asked was because. We need somebody new to design them Steph Curry shoes. Like them. <laughs> them shoes are like what you go cut your grass in. <laughs> yeah, and he balling like a motherfucker. Yes, yeah, Steph, you my trip. Look, and one he's hit by the Kobe syndrome. <laughs> Yeah, we need. You ain't lost a lot of money off those shoes. Yeah. Too. Oh my god. The I mean, stock them hit shoes the ground look off, like off those horrible shoes. Those is PTA those meeting shoes. shoes. Yeah. PTA meeting. <laughs> yes. And one. Meet us inside. Give this. Bro- give. Give some of your other brothers a look on the shoes because, like, I, I'm with the movement. Like, I like because I don't like. Curry not, wear not, the and ones. Yeah. I don't like knocking Nike being the monopoly of everything. I want we need right, right, absolutely, good. absolutely. But normally they have competition. You can't have nurse shoes masquerading as basketball shoes. And one, you feel me? Kevin Garnett's back in. Ben Wallace is back okay. in. 
you know, and one mixed tour coming back real strong. Oh, like that. That's oh yeah, it's about to be ridiculous. That was a good market. Hey, stuff. look, you're right. Yeah, and all, one don't get respect for their mixtape game, man, bro. That mixtape oh, was the be shit cool. before the internet. Man, please. Like before the internet got big, they and one mixtapes. You, I would go down Hell to the 2020 yeah. video and rent them hoes. Hell yeah. Complex yeah. Con was crazy. It was off the hook, man. We had the biggest booth at Complex Con. It was just, it was ridiculous. Damn, Everybody where? was there. that, Vegas? Skip. No, in Long Beach. Or Long Beach. Yeah, Skip to my Lou was there doing his thing. I mean, he had. So you know, Ray, what's his name? Rafer, some shit, or yeah, Rafer Austin. Yeah, Rafer Austin. Yeah, man. So that the nigga made it out. Yeah, the movement is, is real. Yeah, yeah, they, they, he made it to the finals. They they own, own yeah, yeah. The basketball short market. So I mean, and that's what you a, say. A lot of, they own twenty percent, which is crazy. I know it sounds funny, but twenty percent of the basketball short market. Shorts? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right, right. Right. I mean, if you ever see kids. We've got shorts. I mean, I don't care from Latinos to brothers walking down the street and they got basketball shorts on. They they're ones. probably and ones. One out of five niggas got uh, the and ones on. It, it just is. I don't know if you ever noticed that, man, but it's crazy. Nah, they sell more of those shorts than the law allows. Really? It, it just makes no sense. But but on the other side, though, we're doing a, a big brand push with the apparel. I'm doing all the apparel right now for NBA Summer League um, coming up in Vegas. So. And we're doing an exclusive with a store out there, so you only can go there and promote it at the NBA Summer League. Mm-hmm. And a lot of a lot of it's being given away to some of the new guys coming aboard because Kevin Garnett is is in charge of bringing the players okay. in, so he's been a big push. And oh, you sweet. see what we're doing. I don't know if you saw what we're doing with with the inner city paint the park. Mm. It's ridiculous. No, so we're going tell to us about each it. Inner, we're going to each inner city park. Oh, I've seen that. Park, yeah, yeah, and yeah. We're painting the park. It's oh. off the hook, and then come in and give the away nice. to the kids. Oh yeah, they, each kid is getting bags, shoes, apparel, and it's crazy. So all the inner city kids, it, it's phenomenal, man. Go on and one, go on the IG and check it out. Go on and one's IG. Yeah, I've seen a few of them. Some of the paint the park situations, man. It, it's, it's off mm. the hook. Now, now so big ask, kudos to Kevin Garnett, man. Let me ask you this, man. What do you big. see is the future? What's coming next for just? Style and urban style, like is niggas gonna be on this tight shit forever? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You know what? To be honest, man, yeah, yes. a great this question. This shit comes in great cycles, question. man. Great when question. We off this tight it shit. Comes, it all comes yes. in cycles. But you know what's not going anywhere is is the jogger. People thought that that was like the passing fad, right? The jogger. People thought it was gonna go back to the the still the the box. Sweatpants. Old man, sweatpants. Yeah. Oh, right. Most brothers in the hood are used to. It's right. like brothers don't want to get rid of their crease. Yeah. Tommy Hilfiger with the hammer loop. <laughs> with they, the they hammer loop? They're still, they're like, I still not still. I try to get some brothers and some loop. new ones. Like, Your girl <laughs> might like you in hey, this. Hey, bro, lose the hammer. Song, ah, now I'm going to stick with my creases in my. All right, bro. <laughs> you know Damn. what I mean? But a lot of like a lot of coaches that I deal with, they were like, yeah, give our kids a jogger, but still give me my, you know, my, my bell bottom sweatpant and do it by about a year that change i don't care if they were 40 plus don't give me anything but that jogger and that's for brothers who was not like a, don't give me that jogger pants. the jogger now, is in yeah absolutely the jogger is here to stay that's the that's word to stay, man. Yeah. the jogger is in. Just, it just so it's now a staple so what you saying is i just gotta when this one go to the store i just gotta go like, ah yeah you got a big yeah, yeah gotta, just give me the jogger next time i've got a custom man i've been i've been, like, been kind of waiting it out you know yeah. what i mean yeah I ain't bought yeah, no a, sweats in three years. I'm wearing some sweats right now, but I bought these hoes uh, three years ago. You, know you what waiting mean? It out. I've been waiting it that out. Big bottom is probably going to be gone okay. for a minute. Yeah. But you know, you can, I don't even know if you can find it in the store. I think it's yeah, you can always find it at the store. You can always find it at the store. The Ross movement. You the Ross movement, they're definitely popular. I like that Ross movement, guys. They're the last ones, though. That's my favorite. They're the last ones. You know, all the joggers go when it's nothing but the bell bottom sweats at the end. Yeah, man. Now, talk talk to us about that shit, man. Is it is the shit in Ross irregular or not? It's some irregular stuff in Ross. It's some irregular irregular shit. shit. Not yeah. all of it. Yeah, he's right, though. Not all of it. But you got to shift kind of shift through what you want to be on that men's rack and it's. You know, you gotta see one, stuff on one there. pants leg is you a little gotta, longer than the other. No, nah, you find you some dope stuff, but it, it'll be some dope nah, stuff. I, in there. I get all my items from Ross, by the uh, way. <laughs> man, don't make you me spokes find the polos for Ross stuff. right now. <laughs> man, I you can't say anything bad about Ross to me. And you can get a phone charger while you wait in line. Ah man, and all get you of some, that. Yeah, yeah, some, and some, some almonds and yeah, some alkaline some water. Shit, right. <laughs> You get some alkaline water to nigga energize your trip. Costco and and get fitted too for the weekend. Really? Literally, you walk in Costco and come out. Give me thirty shirts to come out with (laughs) everything in the store. Really? Oh man, I don't fuck with Costco. Yeah, you might walk in there, man. I'm not even lying to you, man. 
You mess around and get you some sweet Adidas, Puma, Damn. Converse. I'm talking about some cool sweatsuits for 15 bucks. It's crazy, man. I'm talking about real, real stuff, man. That's for Costco. Damn. Gone with Where'd it, Where'd you man. buy so many steaks, nigga? You get a suit? <laughs> <laughs> man, you can get anything out get of Get some big now. peanut butter, nigga? Hey, you can get this hat. Come here, turn on this T-shirt. You can get your cable Damn. TV and a TV and some sweatsuits before you get up out of there. So what brands do you like, man, this, besides your own? All time. I mean, I'm into clothing brands. All, all time. Yeah. What do you like? Damn, all time. You know, I mean, Ralph will always be Polo. staple because it's just Ralph Lauren is. is a staple. You know what I mean? Kind of yeah. give it up to something that was able to put out the same shirt every year. It's like they're buying that same Jordan. Yeah. yeah. You know, Give me just, another one. They just switch the colors up. <laughs> this palette is, you know, black, yeah. burgundy, gray, and, and then it's, you know, yellow. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Orange, yeah. light blue, do and that. white for the spring. I mean, that's, you know, that's fascinating. Just, that's amazing. I, I, I don't even know how thinking, that's done. I got to give me some new polo yeah, for yeah, the yeah. Yes, yes. You, you got to have that. Yes. So, I mean, Melrose I, think, I just give him hey. the number one slot. I don't care from – I've been to Paris, to London, to – Polo got it on lock. Look, I mean, how, who else is number one but him? I got a question, Straight man. Straight up, man. I got a question. Who is your not top two fat designers? Because I got an issue buying clothes. <laughs> when it comes to getting clothes for fat people, you get this oddly shaped ass shirts. I know, that flare off you. What you trying to do, huh? You walk around looking like the Liberty Bell. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you, you know, I'm fat, don't mean I don't want something that, that look good. And it's in the scene like. It's two fat designers, and the minute a fat person find a good shirt, the minute you go to the jazz festival, one out of three fat niggas got that shirt because we finally found one. <laughs> and so where can you point me in the like, direction? Y'all sit over there, nigga. For you 300 know. plus, where can we go? Rock aware. Rock aware got you. I like Sean Jones. Yeah, Sean Jones. I'm a Sean Jones. I'm a Sean Jones. 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 Rock aware. Sean Jones. Big niggas. Sean Jones keeps it clean for the big dudes. Yeah, he got you covered. I got Sean Jones. I got a lot of that shit. Problem is, every other fat nigga like Sean Jones. Rock aware. Rock aware. Okay. That's for the younger big niggas. Old niggas don't really fuck with the rock like okay. that. So you <laughs> okay. can mix some Sean John with some rock shit okay. and really be splash yeah. on I did them, have right? a rock and roll shirt, and it, and it, it was a fat form fitting. Yeah, it's, they got nah. well, it was still fat, it but like they, kinda... they, they focused on on that market, yeah, no doubt. Because yeah. they know how to get around the belly and still. Uh, yeah. yeah. You most places when you go straight down. Shit down. Like this. Yeah, it goes I mean, you need some big boy fat farm stuff, too. Okay. He probably wants that state property, man. That's what I think. That Benny Siegel. Man, these things take a back to he went to Benny Siegel line. <laughs> oh, man. No, I, I feel you, man. A little taper at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Thank you for that, Dan. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, custom situations, man, are, are what's happening. You know, just... Custom? What one, you mean? One-offs. You know, one just yeah. Like, we've been messing with the airbrush for about two years because nobody had brought... We all know airbrush, and most cats get rest in peace, teased to right. their yeah, head yeah. falls off, right? But we said, let's take the airbrush medium... And bring it into the streetwear medium. Nobody was doing that, so we've been doing that for like the last two years. You know, this like y'all be like rare in peace and shit. I mean, you know, it's it, nothing is one of a light. Even if you want that right, same print, right, it's right, not right. going to still be that same print. So I'm getting a lot of cats who are really gravitating towards that movement. You know, it's especially like if it's done yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So now they one of a kind. A spot, they're like, dude, I don't. I'm not looking like you, you and you and. And everybody is asking you, you know, do the uh, shirt is totally Now, what's tight. up with these torn up jeans type shit, man? What the fuck is that shit? Dude, I wish I was in when I was younger, man. As much as my jeans was torn, jumping up. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm, I'm, mad, used right? I'm mad about that, man. I'm like, you I don't rock the torn jeans? Torn jeans? Man, I, like you said, I used to. I don't have no new my ones torn. I probably should the... tear up some shit, huh? Dude, that dude, dude, now you can just rip your jeans crazy and everybody like, dude, it's that shit jeans. is hot, nigga. Like, you know, I just rip my shit on the car. Yeah. Mike wanted to just gonna hold on to the '90s flavor forever. The tweed belt, the uh, burgundy. Oh, Tim's. the tweed belt. <laughs> hey, belt. You already know oh, how you gonna come through. Like first of all, nigga, that's '82, nigga. First of all, I forgot all about the tweed, tweed belt, belt, burgundy Tim's, Nautica oh, over jacket, <laughs> burgundy Tim's. Oh, you just named none of my shit I ever had, nigga. <laughs> You never had, had the burgundy Tim's. Tim's? I, had, I never I had, had the, no Tim's. Oh, I had wow. the Tim's. I had the, uh, 90s, I what? had the Tim's. 
I oh, never yeah. had no Tim's. How could a nigga go to Westchester and not have burgundy Tim's, Tim's with the Nigga, I was wearing Tim's. Sperry's, nigga, and motherfucking. I was wearing Tim's at Westchester. Cool shit. Oh, Suede Pumas, nigga. No fucking uh, Tim's. See, Tim's was a 90s thing. Yeah, man. that's some. Man, I, 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 you was on a high some school nylon cor- Hell yeah, I rocked some I nylon Cortezes, too. Oh, the Cortezes? Okay. That's why I was rocking leather ones. I rocked some. I, I rock some nylon ones. But, but I'm here are, in the yeah. 90s. Like high school, like, like yeah. I hear? That, that, that was mad, though. I knew yeah. See, I, see I was a West I graduated in 99. So, like, see, not when we were in front of me. Yeah, I didn't so. Know nothing about Timberland. Me either. So, like, yeah. mid 90s. If, if you had right, Burgundy Tims at Westchester, yeah. when I went there. All right, you Westchester, you might as well. You had to have a Tim. Stop coming to You had to have all the colors. So, you would know. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, and then I went to Over Right, like, mid 95. Right, right, right. Yeah, and I wasn't even that in the fashion, but you had to have. Mike was went to the real European shit. I used to hoop in my Tims. No, that's how you know I was in seventh grade. You still hooping? Yeah, Tims in, yeah. So, I'm hooping in my Tims. like, Tims was. We wasn't wearing no Tims, nigga. Cats had T.I. sweatsuits on. Yeah, it's a different, different there. Yeah, different but it's there. still good. Did have polo yeah, on though? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Polo, polo was still around for us too. Yeah. But polo, polo with the Tim. Right. Yeah, polo, polo with the Tim. The Tim. Yeah, yeah, the tim it was. You it got was hill figures. Polo with the Tim. Tweed belt. There you go. Jabos <laughs> with the burgundy Tims. It tweed was like, belt, nigga. The yes. Tweed belt was. Come on. And we, when I was at Westchester, you had Tims, and you also had the Sacconis. That's when the Sacconis yeah, were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. whatever stripe your Sacconis had, you had to have that shirt or whatever That's a fact. to match. That match back, huh? Yeah, that, that, that stripe Sacconi. Sacconi was hot for, like, niggas, they made y'all rich for, like, three years. And, the tweet, <laughs> and then we got off the tweet that. Tweet Man, we've done that a lot of times. <laughs> we've done that to a lot of people. Yeah, we've we? done that a lot, we've of, a lot of It's so crazy that when he just said you got off of that, that's a key thing, what he just said, and meaning that to... What I tell my young cats, because I love mentoring the young cats who's trying to get into business and do mm-hmm. stuff in the business, because, you know, it's a lot of dope young dudes I work with. That's why okay. I'm, I'm having so much fun working with young cats that's doing their thing, you know. And, like, I tell young cats, don't be in the fashion business, be in the clothing business. Because, you know, fashion does this, but if you're in the clothing business, you can do merch, you can do this. Because once you have a name and people know that you can get something done, Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, people want to come to you and be a part of your thing. Oh, because you're you in do the this? clothing Can you do business. my logo? Can you do this? Can you? Yes, because like, they want the association. So, you know, it, being and when the you clothing think about- business, don't be in the fashion business. Do have you? It's cool to have your brand, but don't be, you know, so many people like it. So I, I used to be like that. I'm not going to lie. I used to be like emotional and, and married to the, you know, I mean, this is my baby. Now I don't want, you know, somebody came to me back in the day and like, oh, dude, I'll give you, you know, just. I'm BSing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. give me 200000 You know, I'll give you 200000 Do my line. I'm like, yeah. what? I'm, I'm not doing nothing for you. I'm doing all my designs are mine. And we're right. putting out. I don't want you having none of our. You know what I mean? Right. Because it was such a like a a competition. We used to be at Magic and and FUBU was there. I remember my first show was just me, FUBU, uh, who Shabazz Brothers was there. But it was maybe only three or four of us. Magic don't, was. Nigga, don't ignore Carl, Carl Kanai. Kanai Anybody Carl remember Kanai. I.B. Blackman? That, oh yeah, I remember, I remember that. the absolutely. name. Absolutely, yeah. They was in Century City or something. Uh, we used to be. No, no, he was next to Larry, Larry Parker. Parker. I used to work there. Larry Parker. Man, I'd be black when he actually like. What's my man? Ben, name ben. ben. Ben, yeah. yeah. Shout out Ben. I like Ben. Yeah, my man. first absolutely. retail. Ben is a really. Is that where you got your first Tim's? Uh, no, no, no. But this is where I got my first idea that I'm gonna sell clothes as. Uh, like what them niggas was doing, we were open at like two in the morning. So when a nigga go over there and bust Dope. nigga sixty dollar sweatshirts, it was like having bottle service when you go over to the restaurant. Like right. nigga, I'm shopping still. Right. Like, that was dope. Dude, I loved like, it. That nigga, was dope. Yeah. Oh my god, that's what's crazy. up. I used to go over there, man, when after after hours to, yeah. to the spot. Absolutely. Like, like two in the morning we open, niggas coming over spending five hundred. The girl like, I want this, I want that. He was he was up on presentation. He, oh, my he God. was he was up on the presentation. And the shit was like sixty, seventy dollars yeah. twenty five years ago. Yeah, 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 really. But it's something how we attract to things that are a little more expensive. Like yeah, you know, because yeah. your, your mindset, you know, marketing wise you automatically think that's better. It's right. like I'm about right. to jump on the porch yeah. compared to the bug. That's right. And so it's crazy how our minds work. Oh, my t shirt like, $250. I need three of them. Yeah, you know. Oh, my t shirt's $15. Oh, man. Nigga, please. Yeah. Can I have one? Let me see. Let me, yeah. let me touch it. <laughs> like, as a this people. This ain't even the right yeah. kind of cotton I fuck with. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah man. Screw it. Like pick man. better cotton than that, bro. Like, man, dude. <laughs> as know? a people, we just attracted to the best shit. 
Yeah. Us being poor is some new shit to black people. We come from Africa where everything's abundant. Everybody you know had what it, mean? man. Yeah. Everybody had it. It was no yeah. thing. Tulsa. So that that's that's yeah, deeper in our that's deeper in our DNA. This poor shit is something very 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 new to us. Yeah, people yeah. understand that. Like we, people people we always want to talk about towards some of us. Like, man, like people always want to say Italian design. Italian design ain't nothing but right. African design. Right. Italian. What do they have? They have alligator skin shoes, right? In Italian design. Ain't no goddamn alligators in in Italy, goddamn it. Where did <laughs> alligators come from? True. So who taught them nigga. how to do this shit? That's from nigga. Florida, nigga. We, we gotta think Africans, about that. Man, because Africans, Africans are deep in Italy. Deep. Absolutely, they deep. Yeah, it deep. Was when the Roman Absolutely. Empire, all the finest Absolutely. fabrics. Absolutely. Before the Roman Empire, the Etruscan civilization, like, when, when you look at Roman Empire, uh, the old black prince. When I went to Italy, I could not believe how many Africans were there. I was like... Because... I said, hold on, hold on, dude. I just I thought I went, came to Italy. Right. I was like, no, nah, I'm in Africa. Down in Sicily, I'm like, in Florence going... <coughs> I it was at Venice nothing. Beach. Was, shit, huh? Man, what, dude. It was, Them is black like, people. And doing their thing, man. Selling uh, Prada bags and Gucci bags that are the were the best knockoffs I had ever seen. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Setting wow. up in shops in Italy and setting up like uh, at farmer market type situations and them brothers had hella bags and the bags look dude can't nothing, nobody top this I mean bags were ridiculous like they were back there just do 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 you know my, this is my uncle thing. is Louis I himself. Yeah, you know what I mean? This is better than Louis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my uncle That's Louis. Real, this, this is, is better than any Louis you are ever it find in Italy. Wait, wait, what the fuck voice is he doing? What the fuck voice oh, is that? Okay. <laughs> this is better than any uh, bag you ever find. Okay, look, man. So, Tuck, man, what can you give yeah, some man. little before we wrap it up? Give us give some, little kids out there, man, you know. Really looking at this business and thinking they want to take a piece of it, man. What advice can you give them? I want a piece right now. I'm I'm I'm, I'm working on some uh, black uh, Hollywood apparel right now. Yeah, so, sounds dope. So Absolutely. listen in, no, really. man. That, listen that in. That sounds dope. That's what I'm saying. What well, What advice would you say? Uh, again, man. My, Getting into the clothing business, not the fashion business. Clothing. Getting into the clothing business. Yeah. I mean, for me, just start with the t-shirt and the idea, man. You probably go far with it, man. Mm. Literally, just start with a T-shirt and, and an idea. idea. That's it. That's man. game right there, party mm. people. That's what's up. That's some good ass game. That's some good <laughs> ass yeah. game right there. Start with one fucking shirt, cause niggas want to say Literally. they got a clothing company. Well, can I see something? Well, no, nigga, I ain't got nothing. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, right. It's exactly. just a thought, nigga. Let's make it reality. Right? That's right. Absolutely. That's right. Start with one yeah, T-shirt. Man. And then, and and when somebody buys your stuff that you don't know, then you're doing it. Because, you oh, know, really? cats always run, okay, I, I know the homie's going to buy it. Yeah, yeah. Then my mom and dad. Yeah, my auntie bought I'm, six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, man, I just sold out my 24. Okay, now I got my new 24. Oh, I got that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, when somebody else that you don't know starts buying it, okay, then you're on to something. Yeah, you know, fair real, enough. You fair something. enough. The same thing we say about jokes, right? Mm, yeah, basically. Niggas buying you for these jokes, Pam. Somebody for these else start laughing. Something. Let yeah. me know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> same yeah. Shit. yeah. All right, y'all, man. We are gonna get out of here, party people. Melrose, let them know where they can find hey, you. Man, Black Hollywood, eighty nine sixteen Southwestern. Come get your hair cut. Be a part of the uh, whole experience. Chuck, where can they find you, man? Uh, check me out on the IG at Oak Bay Streetwear and at Am One West at Isaac Charles. Those three IGs. <laughs> but um, other than that, also you can check out the website. Sounds like Oak you Bay need Supply. to consolidate, man. <laughs> 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 marketing man. I've got three IGs. <laughs> marketing man. Nah. Uh, what about you? you? Uh, Dewan B on Instagram. D W A N N B. That's where all my every little thing else going on. You can figure it out. Facebook, Dewan Brown, and BreakthroughAS.com. And you can follow me at King Mike Boogie on everything. Mel Rose, take us out with a freestyle. Ooh. I can't handle beat, man. Uh, catch me at uh, someplace in Burbank in about 45 minutes slinging jokes. Fucking weakest shit ever, my nigga. All right, y'all, party people, we out of here. 5,000 G.
I like my green with crystals like Folgers Picking up momentum, rolling like boulders They call me ice, but I'm really much colder My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava I fight to the end like the Navajo Crack a bottle though, make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect Of a fool on the loose, I hit you from every angle From obtuse to right, street shit like JJ, I'm dynamite. Slide me some dough, I show you an execution in the flesh. And promise not to leave nothing left. If you bomb it, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting. Till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is.